With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, the wooden plank of length 1 meter and uniform cross section is hinged at one end to the bottom of a tank as shown in the figure. The tank is filled with water up to a height of 0.5 meter. The specific gravity of plank is 0 0.5. We have to find out the angle theta that the plank makes with the vertical in equilibrium position. So here in this question it is given that this height is 0 0.5 meter. This wooden plank has a specific gravity of 0 0.5 or we can say that the density of wooden plank divided by the density of water is given to be 0 0.5 we have to find out this angle theta here now this plank here is in equilibrium position that means the net force acting on the plank is 0 and net torque acting on the plank is 0 now let's use these equations Let's find out the torque about this point O here. This is our wooden plank and uh, this is buoyant force that is acting on this wooden plank and this is the weight of this wooden plank. Now let's just suppose that this length here is of x meter. This length is x and uh, let's just say that the full length of this wooden plank is L. So what is OC here? OC here is L minus x. This is L minus x. Let's just consider this point as D. Alright. Now here in this triangle if we look at ODC in triangle ODC. If we find out what is the length L minus X, we know that OD is equal to 0 0.5. Then by cos theta angle, so cosine of theta would be equal to OD divided by L minus X. We know OD is equal to 0 0.5 divided by L minus X. So we can calculate theta if we can calculate this L minus X length. So let's find out what is this length. So net torque about point O is 0. That means the buoyant force. The buoyant force that is acting on the plank into the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation would be equal to the torque that is applied by this buoyant force. So the perpendicular distance is this one. All right. The perpendicular distance, let's just say this is OM. So this is our perpendicular distance. We know that the buoyant force will act at center of gravity of the plank that is in the water. So the full length of plank that is inside the water is L minus X. So the center of gravity would act at this point. All right. So the length, this is L minus X divided by two. All right. And the weight of this plank is acting at center of gravity of the full full length of plank. Well, the weight of this plank should act at where we have considered the center of mass. And since this plank we have considered is of uniform cross section and of uniform density, that's why the center of mass would be same as the point of center of gravity. All right, the full length is L, so it would be acting here and this point is from O, this point is L by 2. So this length here is L by 2. Now if we see here that this L by 2 makes an angle theta with vertical. So this perpendicular distance is L by 2. This perpendicular distance would be equal to L by 2 sine theta this O let's just say this point is N so this length here would be L minus 2 sine theta and this length here we calculated OM to be L 
minus x divided by 2 sin theta all right so fb the buoyant force that is acting on this plank into the perpendicular distance from o is l minus x by 2 sin theta this is equal to weight of this plank which is mg into which is acting at l by 2 distance and the perpendicular distance is l by 2 sin theta after sin theta here is common so let's remove it from this equation so we get fb into l minus x by 2 this is equal to weight into l by 2 now let's calculate the buoyant force the buoyant force would be equal to weight of water that is displaced mass of water into g all right mass of water we can write it as density of water into volume into g this would be density of water into volume that is displaced is let's just say the area of uh, cross section of this plank is a this this is let's just say this is our plank and we have taken a as this cross section area all right and this is extending up to l length all right so that means here it the plank is inside water so it is extending up to l minus x length all right into this this is our volume and g now let's calculate the weight of the plank the weight of plank would be density of plank into volume of plank into g volume of plank would be area into extending up to l length this into g now let's put these two values in this equation we get density of water into a into l minus x into g into this is our point force into l minus x by 2 this is equal to density of plank into area into length into g this into l by 2 all right now area of cross section let's remove it let's remove acceleration due to gravity from this equation so we get l minus x divided by 2 l minus x square divided by 2 this is equal to density of plank divided by density of water into l square by 2 now this value here is given to be 0 0.5 therefore l minus x square this is equal to 0 0.5 into l square or we can write 1 minus x divided by l square this is equal to 1 upon 2 1 by x by l this is equal to 1 upon root 2 or we can write x divided by l is equal to 1 minus 1 upon root and we know that l is equal to 1 meter so our x is equal to 1 minus 1 upon root 2 this is our value of x now in this triangle o c d we have found this cos theta is equal to 0.5 divided by l minus x so cos theta is equal to 0.5 that means 1 upon 2 divided by l minus x l minus x here comes out to be 1 by root 2 so we can write it as 1 by root 2 so this comes out to be root 2 divided by 2 or we can write 1 by root 2 all right so our theta here comes out to be 45 degree this is our final answer for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.